Throughout the years, many accomplished and intelligent men have come to the conclusion that women are vastly overrated. Every single stand-up comedian and a wealthy man with easy access to women would tell you that the costs outweigh the possible advantages. After weighing the pros and cons, in reality the risks to reward ratio decreases even more when contemporary issues like allegations, divorce traps, and harassment regulations are taken into account. The greatest important discovery in mid-toe will be discovered by a man when he eventually understands that women are genuinely more terrified of men than we are of women. Men on their own tend to be extremely simple. They aren't taken seriously by women enough, aren't wanted by anybody, or haven't developed enough to date. Simply put, single men are hesitant to approach women out of concern that they would be rejected or thought to be weird. What would you think if I informed you that the game's regulations had significantly changed? Women are terrified of single men as more and more qualified bachelor's degrees join the workforce. They have every cause to be terrified. I'll start by explaining why. If we analyze female biology and mind, we can learn a lot about what motivates women's behavior. I've already talked about hypergamy and how women always want to be with perfect men. You already know the solution, so you won't be surprised by it. I want to talk about how important self-respect and how women view themselves are. As soon as you realize it, a lot of things will fall into place. Feminine appeal and charm have long been used to represent women. There is consensus around this. Women's biggest selling point is the beauty, a signifying humankind. Women therefore stand for passion and seductive desire. A woman's greatest asset is undoubtedly her beauty. This is disliked by many women because they feel intimidated by it. To draw viewers, it is why the media is so intent on presenting MGTW as a radical organization. Contrary to popular assumption, the successful single men that they disdain make up the MG Tao movement. To what end is that? I don't know why women should be so afraid of single men because it makes it harder for them to draw in clients. That diminishes their value and jeopardizes their future. Women expect that men would follow them, fight for their affection, and eventually make marriage proposals. According to society, having a fulfilling marriage and a compatible life partner are requirements. Despite having to date hundreds of men who are just like that before finding the right one, women rely on this illusion. Men have disproved conventional wisdom. MG Tao is dangerous because its members make appealing partners for women, not because they are lonely intellectual guys acting oddly. These are the men that women like to control. The risk comes from the fact that these men now value women and are disinterested in adhering to traditional gender roles. They also overcame their innate tendencies and stopped needing feminine validation. It was a terrible blow to the lady who hoped to attract men like these at the club in order to get free alcohol, pricey dinners, and new clothes to flaunt on social media. Since they started to rely on their life's purpose instead, this game is over for these women. They have no interest in her. On the contrary, one women are becoming increasingly alarmed by the rapid increase in the number of men who exhibit this behavior. They want to know where all the valuable men are. To put it another way, how a single man can be so easygoing and joyful is a mystery to most women. This can be interpreted as a dare by some women or as a display of match of power by others. Yet the energy that brings them together binds them all together. They are eager to learn how he manages to be so happy and successful without giving women any more thought. What happens to modern women if this pattern persists? They are unable to draw the better men. They prefer hanging out with no. They are only there to take care of her needs and put up with her rants. She fantasizes of dating these MG Tao men, accumulating cash with a divorce horse, relocating to a lovely suburban home. She confronts her friends and spending outrageous sums of money on clothing and accessories. She wants to date men who are like this. That these men suddenly began living by themselves and concentrating on their purpose, that would be a big issue. Recognize that men and women have distinct experiences. A woman's attractiveness and beauty are limited. She'll eventually give up and quit looking for a boyfriend. There will be no one who wants her. A man, meanwhile, has everything to gain by living alone, nothing to gain from settling down with a spouse. Even though the stakes are already quite high, she faces much greater danger. She doesn't find a partner right away.